To get started, click the Install button here. We recommend the automatic method for PC users. It'll install a desktop application, which is similar to the uh, Curse client, and it auto-uploads the AskMrRobot.Lua file that our in-game mod will create. So click the Download Client button here on the left. Then open the AskMrRobot.exe file. If it doesn't show up in your browser here like mine does, try hitting Control J or go to your browser settings to see where the file is saved, which is usually in the Downloads folder. Alright, so when you open the .exe file, you'll see this orange installer. Do not click Install yet. First we have to check to make sure the file path to WoW is correct. We try to find it automatically, but that doesn't always work. So if it's not correct, click this little button here to the right. Browse to your WoW directory and then stop there. Don't go into any of the subfolders. If you don't know where WoW is installed, you can right-click on the WoW shortcut on your desktop, go to Properties, and look for the file path there. Now that we have the right file path, you can click Install. This could take a while depending on your computer. On this machine it only takes a few seconds, but on my old laptop it can take over a minute. This installs two things. It automatically installs our in-game mod, putting it in your Warcraft add-on folder. And it also installs the desktop application. The application monitors the AskMrRobot.Lua file for changes, and anytime there's a change it automatically uploads it to our database. We don't do anything else to your computer, so make sure you always download this exe from our site to make sure it's safe and secure. Once it's installed, click the exit button. This will automatically launch the desktop application and you just need to log in with your Ask Mr. Robot username. Once you're logged in, Mr. Robot will remember you. So now that I'm signed in, I see the account screen. It shows who's logged in here and in case you have multiple accounts in the same home, you can click the change user button here. So let's close this program and don't worry, it's still running and you can find it in your system tray. So now it's time to launch Warcraft. Now if Warcraft was already running during this process, you'll want to completely exit it and relaunch the entire game. And if everything worked right, the in-game mod will also be installed. So to check that, click the add-ons button on the character screen and look for the Ask Mr. Robot add-on. Now since Mr. Robot needs your bag and bank data for the best in bags to work, you'll want to go to your bank and open it. Then click the Mr. Robot minimap icon. As you can see, I have a UI mod installed, but if you don't have a UI mod installed, it'll still be on your minimap. And if you can't see the icon, it's likely hidden behind another icon, so just try moving them around. Click the minimap icon and the Ask Mr. Robot mod will load. Then go to the Best in Bags tab and click the Export Bags and Bank button. When you click the button, you'll see the game UI reload like this. Now that's normal and is required by Blizzard in order to write to the Lua file. So while the screen is reloading, Mr. Robot is uploading your bag, bank, and character data to our database. So now, if you want to confirm the data was actually uploaded, you can open the desktop application again. Now keep in mind, this, this step right here can be totally skipped, um, but it's fun you know, to check. If there's an error, you'll find it here. So to reopen the program in your system tray, just right-click on it and choose Manage Account. As you can see here, there's a message with the last upload date, and if there's an error, it'll tell me right here in bright red. Now here's a step you can't skip. You have to go back to the website and click the Refresh button here. So this reloads your character and grabs all of the new data from our database. As you can see, the successful load date shows up here. So the data that you uploaded not only contained your items, but your character's current spec and equipped gear. So you'll notice that all of your gear is current and you didn't even need to log out of the game. Alright, now you're ready to click the Best in Bags button for your main and off specs. Now that everything is set up, this process is super easy in the future. There's only two steps. To update your bag and bank data, you'll want to click the Export button from the Best in Bags tab of the in-game mod, and Mr. Robot will automatically upload it to the website. Then return to the website and click the Refresh button. It's that simple. So to learn more about how Best in Bags works, watch the next video.